Hey guys, welcome back. A little bit of a different video today. Um, today, we're actually on Google Maps. So, they actually updated the map over Six Flags Great America very recently, sometime in March of 2024. And I just wanted to have a poke around it and kind of see if we could see anything new from this aerial view. And kind of check in on all the different projects going on around the park. First thing to look at is down here at the front gate. As you can see, there's certainly some sort of work going on in this picture, but not quite as much as we saw back on Sunday. One thing that is interesting though, is that we can actually see right here, this entire berm, or at least most of this berm has been kind of cut out on the uh, left side of the entrance right here. That's very interesting. Obviously, it'll make an easier path to get to the uh, east side of the park. But, you know, that is getting rid of a lot of a lot of different plants over here. And it would have it looked nice. Um, sure, it'll relieve congestion. So it'll but it'll still be pretty ugly. I wonder if they'll do something similar at some point kind of cutting off this area. But I guess we'll see. Another thing we can do is actually compare, this is what it looked like back in August. You can see all the different trees there and obviously it's a little bit more green. That's, that's kind of a better view. This is from 2017, but you can kind of see kind of the shape of all the planters there. But then if we go back to 2024, you can see how that's all gone. Also, this is the bathroom that has the permit added. Uh, for renovations, so I guess that all makes sense. Looking down here into the Orleans place, not a whole lot that I can see. Moving over to the hangover plot, obviously the entire ride is in fact missing right here, um, but they still do have all the queue and whatnot still exists. So I'm guessing that we'll get some sort of flat ride there, maybe a disco or something. There's kind of a contrast of what it used to look like. There you go what it used to look like and what now it looks like. Something that shouldn't be too bad to see is that uh, Whirly Gig or DC Super Villain Spin or whatever the hell they call it now, um, it's missing like all of its cover and whatnot. You can see if I go back, obviously the cover's there, now the cover isn't, but they do that every single off season, so that's pretty typical. Kind of looking over here, uh, you can see that this entire plot, I mean, I really think that this plot right here is like a prime location for the next coaster. Actually building a coaster that bridges the service road here and then some sort of pedestrian bridge so you can actually cut from one side of the park to the other instead of going all the way around the circle. I think that's where the next coaster is going to go. You know, a dive coaster would fit really nice right here, um, but we'll see. The go-karts, even though they are kind of a pain to run, they definitely do make a lot of money. But with the death of Daredevil, Daredevil Dive, I could see them just trying to get rid of all the upcharges in the park, main park. Over here, we can see the Wilderness Theater along with Goliath and uh, where some old flat rides used to be. Um, they put up some big umbrellas over here in Camp Cartoon, but uh, nothing really good i think this whole area just needs to be completely redone but that that'll come later probably you can also see here at fiddler's fling the ride vehicles are also removed don't be scared again that's just a typical off-season thing now over here at the big construction site uh obviously this isn't anything that we haven't seen yet revolution is obviously completely missing but interestingly they still have this little box here um, which tells me that they still plan on putting something here. Um, I'm guessing it will be some other smaller flat ride, maybe a merry-go-round, maybe a Zamperla, something like an Endeavor or a Nebula ride. It, that would fit very well there, especially also seeing that they removed this um, basketball game. I actually finally have confirmed the position that Sky Striker will be swinging in. Now, originally... If we connect these dots here, I had assumed that the ride would be swinging something like this. 
which is the same way that Daredevil Dive swung, meaning that this would have been over the path and kind of over American Eagle over here in terms of where it was swinging. But that's not the case. If you actually compare the satellite view of the footers compared to Crazy Entity at Six Flags Magic Mountain and Joker at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, you can see that the narrower supports actually are on the way that they swing. So it's actually going to be swinging something like this. This means that Sky Striker will actually be swinging over and very close to X Flight and then over or very close to the crazy cars. That'll be interesting. I mean, it means that the ride vehicle won't be over any paths, which is definitely better in terms of safety and loose articles. But it also means that you won't be able to stand underneath and look up at the actual ride vehicle while it's in motion, which is a pretty cool view. It's cool to finally be able to confirm this, but uh, it'll be definitely interesting to experience this and see how it actually rides. You can also compare where this building is right over here. The building is right here. And obviously now that building's gone. That was the entrance for Daredevil Dive and also American Eagle. Um, so I'm guessing American Eagle will get a new entrance somewhere over here. It doesn't look like they've removed any of the queue or anything. Although the routing of that will be a little bit weird because the queue actually routed over here onto the pad for Daredevil Dive and then went back. So that'll be interesting to see what they do with that. Yeah, we can see right here how this was the entrance queue where you actually went over onto and then back and then the exit took you along where uh, the Great American Speedway used to go. Um, it'll be very interesting to see what happens to this queue. Um, it would, it definitely could use with some shortening. It's definitely a bit of a hike back out there, but I don't think we'll see a return to an American Eagle entrance inside the tent area like it used to. Yeah, nothing really going on here at Buccaneer Battle. Just uh, looks the same as it always does. It even has boats back here. You can actually see, like I got the picture of from the drone, the uh, demon trains are already on the track. Lobster is again missing uh, ride vehicles, but that's again normal. We do know that uh, JD Barbecue, this is uh, JD Barbecue right here, that is getting some work done. However, it doesn't really look like the building has changed that much on the exterior. You can see that there's uh, work trucks outside of here, but uh, no real big changes yet. Let's see if we can see any of the uh, Viper track work from space. Not really. I know that the, the really rough hill, this hill right here, yep. It was the main hill, the first hill right after the drop. It was really, really rough in a specific row, and uh, it looked like that was where they were doing the retracking. Taking a little peek into the water park, I don't expect there to be many changes. I know this is a... Ooh, okay. So I don't know if they change this for 2022 or 2023 or 2024, but this all is sand right here. But as you can see... I didn't go to the water park last year, but you can see that uh, this is all concrete now. That might be new. This is the building that was set on fire a couple of months ago. I go back kind of through the, let's see if I can find a good one. Yeah, you can see how it usually looks and then um, kind of some damage. Looks like there's some damage on the roof there. I wonder if they're just uh, gonna let it sit for now or Maybe there's work being done on it. Maybe they'll demolish it. Not sure. Also, don't really see anything. There's this uh, entrance right here. The old entrance to the water park that snakes into Southwest Territory. I don't really see any new any work going on, any use of that plot of land. It's very thin and very skinny. It could be used for like a fast speed slide, but clearly nothing's really happening back there right now.
And then one other thing that I did notice is a really good way to set the time is, I believe, well, yeah, you can see right here. Yep. So these are the little sections of Daredevil Dive that are left, or at least some sort of lattice something. Um, but all the other flat rides are missing uh, from this back lot here. And of course, uh, King Chaos is missing from the junkyard. There's where King Chaos was sitting. And okay, and now it's gone. So yeah, overall it was a really well timed update on Google's part to update this Google map and kind of take a be able to take a look at the construction during the off season of the park. Uh we definitely got lucky with this. I'm glad that we got such a high resolution uh image. It'd be really cool if uh more frequent images were made to the public but obviously these are very expensive satellites so uh can't really expect that for free all the time but this was a nice treat thanks for watching and uh i'll talk to you in the next one